Hi, this is Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680. I'm still working on the B80, and I'm going to show you how to adjust a governor on a phonograph. This goes for any governor, but this is on an Edison. I had to repaint the casting. You'll see that because it's black because I'm finding rust. You have a bearing here and a bearing here, and then you have an adjustment screw here and two lock screws. These screws are for demonstrations purposes only. The inside of the governor right here, there's a hole where the pin of the bearing goes in. There's a little ball bearing in there and you want to make sure that little ball bearing is in there. Almost all phonographs work this way. It'll be reversed one way or the other. So what you do is you see that won't spin. That stops. Because when the machine's running, the governor pushes back this way because the felts were right here to adjust the speed. So you lock this one down, and this little screw right here, you just back that off a little. Wow, look at that. And it runs. Well, watch, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to spin it. And it comes to a stop when you lock that bearing. You don't want both bearings driving in. You want to have this a little loose. And it should just spin and spin and spin. A little more because it's slowing down. We're going to do it one more spin. There. And as you can see right here, per my other video about governors, these are all running... It's flat, there's not a, a weight popping out. Then you're gonna lock this screw down. Stop this. And there should be a little bit of play right there, just a little, little bit. But that is how you adjust the governor. Then later I will show you how to do the governor gear. And this is not complicated, and this is my tip for the day.